Hello, human. Just taking a nice nature walk out in these woods. I understand it can be quite relaxing for you humans. Instead of being holed up in your cities all the time. But don't you know how dangerous these woods can be? You humans usually stay away from this place. There's a lot of monsters that might try to hurt you. Some of them even find human flesh particularly delectable. Yet, here you are. By yourself. Relaxing without fear. That makes you brave. Yes. You're brave. Braver than most? That's good. That's very good. Yes, you, you might work. Come here, human. Hey! Don't run! Come back! Got you, little human. Now, just relax in my talons while I take you to my nest. No, no, no! Please don't struggle! I don't want to drop you. We're a long way up the ground and you'll go splat if we fall from this height. Just stay still and- Ow! Oh, no, 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 no! Please, please, please! Oh, that was close. You really scared me there. I was terrified that I wouldn't catch you before you hit the ground. But I got you now. And if you don't squirm, I won't drop you again. I promise. So just, uh, go limp. Yeah, just like that. Completely and totally limp. Oh, no. Did you die? Did I accelerate too quickly? I thought humans were supposed to be a bit more resilient than that. <sighs> no. I still feel your heart beat through my talons. You're just unconscious then. Good. That means I want to fly all the way back to find another. You can sleep, little human. Just sleep. We'll be home soon. Human. You have to wake up. The sun's gonna set soon, and I don't want to wake you up in the dark. It might scare you seeing me covered in shadows. There you go. Nice and gentle. Okay. Don't freak out. 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 Don't freak... Uh, hello, sleepyhead. You slept through our trip most of the day. I think it might have been the air. Uh, you must not be used to the air. Uh, it's a lot harder to breathe, uh, but this place is closer to the ground, so you should be fine. You don't have to worry about your shoulders. I cleaned them and patted them, so they won't get infected. I'm sorry I dug in so tightly, but you didn't give me much of a choice since you were squirming. Still, you've been the calmest human so far. The other humans I managed to bring up here immediately screamed and scrambled away from me. Which was really frustrating. Because in their panic, they all threw themselves out of my nest. They thought I was going to eat them! Silly humans. I tried to explain to them that I don't eat people, but they wouldn't listen, and then... Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> Anyways. I know our introduction was a little... Sudden. But my name is Dino. And as you can see by my wings, I'm a harpy. A male harpy, to be exact. I'm told you humans that can sometimes have trouble telling us apart. <laughs> That's funny to me. Have you ever seen a female harpy? They're unmistakably dull. Not unlike you humans. Except both your males and females are drab but uncolorful. It makes me very confused. I'm not even sure what you are. Never mind, that's not important. What's your name, human? Oh, you humans have such exotic names. I love it. Such a pretty human with such a pretty name. I just knew you were going to be the perfect life mate. Yes, a life mate. It's exciting, yes? Not many humans are chosen to be harpies to be life mates, but that's okay. That just makes you special. You see, human mates used to be way more common in old days. 
The best harpies would swoop down and carry humans off to their nest. It was one of our most prestigious things that we could do. It proved strength and resilience. But then you humans invented those boomsticks, and we harpies all hid away. Not me, though. We'll be the first human and harpy to nest together in 500 years. Hey, you look scared. Is it because I'm the first harpy you've seen? Well then, you're very brave. The first time I saw humans, I panicked and forgot how to fly. I spent the first few seconds hopping around, rattling my wings, trying to lift off in the air, before finally just running and hiding until the humans went away. It was such a shock. Since I was a little chick, my mama and papa told me stories about nasty things bad humans could do to me if they found me. So I was really scared of humans back then. And it didn't help that humans are very ugly, with your gnarly arms and featherless bodies. But, uh, not you. You're so pretty that I forget that you're human. Almost. Anyways, this is my nest. I modeled it after your human dwelling, so I built an alcove where rocks would be for the ceiling, and three walls. I tried to make a fourth wall, but this railing's the best I could do. The floor and bed are top-notch, though. I laid down pine needles and leaves on the rocks, before layering down my top to make a nice, warm, comfy home. It's quite roomy, too. It could probably fit a whole family of seven or eight, though I don't think I've ever seen a harpy lay a clutch that big in for one year. But redundancy never hurts. And it's way up in the air, where no predators can attack our big, happy family of beautiful chicks. I'm not really sure humans and harpies are compatible anymore, but that's okay. There's always a few orphaned eggs and chicks lying around that we can adopt if we need to. Are you impressed? Do you like it? I made it for you. Well, not you specifically. I made it in advance for humans that might want to mate, but now that's you, so... Yeah. I did make it just for you, just before I knew who you were going to be. You're silent. Why, are you not impressed by me? By my cunning, my strength, and my will, and... Oh, I'm a dummy. A big, stupid dummy. I never displayed my feathers to you, did I? Here, look at them. They're large, healthy, and well-pruned. They're very colorful. Aren't they pretty? You can touch them if you'd like. Why are you recoiling from me? My mama said this is all she needed to convince my father to accept her. His lovely nest, his pretty feathers, his... Song! Song! I need to sing you a courting song and dance! Let's see... Oh, this one's a classic. All harpies sing this one to their human mates. <clears throat> you can do this, you know. You can do it. Pull me close. Hold me tight, cause you won't ever leave my side. Just know when you feel alone, I'll be watching from the sky. Isn't it romantic? It makes my feathers stand up every time I hear it. But you're still shaking. Why? What am I doing wrong, human? Why are you so scared of me? I'm coming on too strongly? Uh, what do you mean? This is how harpies court. And every story I heard has told me that you humans only accept the most assertive of courts. Don't tell me I picked up a broken human. The courting season has almost ended, and I don't have enough time to go searching for more. I spent months looking for humans, and you're the only one out of a dozen I have found that hasn't run away, injured, killed themselves in a panic. Please, human, what do I need to do for you to accept my courtship? I can convince you, why you promise? Just tell me and I'll get it. But I need you to give me something to work with. No, I can't find another harpy instead. I... <sighs> I lied. 
okay? Nesting with humans isn't prestigious. It's very, very desperate. It's for harpies who couldn't find any harpy willing to nest with them. And so they risk their life catching a human instead. You only do it when you're completely out of options. I risk being shot out of the sky by your boomstick because I'm desperate. Man, I tried, human. I tried very hard. I was nearly accepted by a few harpies, but then some other harpy swooped in and attacked me. I'm not strong enough to fight them off. I had to retreat, so the harpy nested with the attackers instead. Nesting with humans is the only chance I have left if I want a life mate before the courting season's over. I'll find my life mate next courting season? No, you don't understand. You really don't understand. There is no next courting season. I already lived through five, human. Think. What harpy would want to nest with me when there are dozens of younger, stronger harpies out there that they could pair with instead? My only option left as next season is to join the elderly harpies and hope maybe Widow will come by for help. But I just don't understand why you're not approving of my courtship. Humans are supposed to be willing to nest with anything. Werewolves, dragons, vampires, fairies, and even us harpies. All the stories say you just have to bring one home and be assertive, and they'll accept your courtship offer. But if not even a human is willing to nest with me... What? What about the stories? You think those humans weren't actually willing that they were being coerced? That's... That's horrible. That's disgusting. And I've been told those stories since I was a little chick, and I've... I've been... Oh no, what? I think I need a moment. Okay. Okay, l let me try to think here. I think there's been a very big misunderstanding from both of us. This was all just a corpse shit to me. You've always been allowed to reject me, and I would have brought you home at any time. But... You were too scared to reject me, right? Because you think I'll hurt you if you didn't accept me. But I could never hurt you. How could I? What kind of monster would I be to force someone to be with me, harpy or not? I don't want to coerce a life mate. I want a life mate that loves me and wants me to be me. Wouldn't any harpy, wouldn't any human, anyone... That's not something I'm going to get. I'll... I'll take you home. You want to go home, right? You've probably wanted to go home since I first goofed you up. I'll take you home. Even... Even though I really don't want to. I'll need you to ride me to get to your nest. So I don't injure your shoulders again. Get on my back and wrap your arms and legs around my torso. There you go, don't be shy. You need to cling on so you don't fall. It feels good having you there, holding me. I really wish this was a genuine hug from you. Sorry, I'm making this weird, aren't I? Let me just... figure out what's the best way to flap out of here. And up we go! It's peaceful up here, isn't it? I found a nice vortex so I can just glide for the time being. That means I get to focus on the wind blowing through my feathers and hair. It's always helped me clear my head when I'm feeling down. Seeing all the world with all my problems far, far beneath my talons, as the wind caresses me, it helps me. It always helps me. When the world rejects me, the sky's accepting. How's the sky air? Are you getting used to it? I can't have you falling unconscious on me, because I'm going to need some direction to how to get onto the edge of the forest here.
Is that your nest? It's dark out. So we should be landing here in the open street. I just need to spiral down and not drop too quickly. Your nest looks nice. Far better than mine. Large, secure, warm. No wonder you weren't impressed by my alcove. Why would you ever trade this away for mine? I, um, suppose this is it. I'll be off then. Goodbye, human. What do you want? I don't want your pity. I've heard it all before. I did the right thing, so just have the decency to let me mope in peace. What? See you again, but why would I see you again? It's dangerous out here for harpies, and you are clearly uninterested. So, you're never going to want to see me again. What would be the point? You want me to continue courting you? Really? I... Thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise you won't regret it. I'll do anything to make sure you won't regret it. I promise I can convince you to be with me. I promise, I promise, I promise. Oh, we need hugs. Lots of hugs for a human. Come here. Thank you. You're a very kind human. Very, very kind. I really hope you'll decide to spend forever with me. Because I would do everything I could to spoil such a kind soul. You would make a fantastic parents for my chicks. I'll come back tomorrow noon. Meet me where I first found you by the woods, okay? And you should probably have something you could use to hide me if you want me to visit your nest. Until next time, human.